Gentlemen, this is your friend Everett PVE, Dr. Jimmy, and joining me tonight is Happy Julio. Julio. We have crossed into the, the dimension of happiness, love, and peace, yep. and I have found a Happy Julio for us this evening. Happy Julio, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me here in the show. Awesome. Um, can you tell the viewers about yourself? Um, yeah. I'm Happy Julio, and um, I've been playing Street Fighter for the last couple of years, and uh, my player of choice is Ibuki. Ibuki. Uh, how long have you been playing Street Fighter? Like, what was your first Street Fighter game? Uh, my first Street Fighter game was way back in the 90s, Street Fighter 2, mm -hmm. uh, but I played serious Street Fighter um, since Street Fighter 3. Seriously, since 3? Yes. That was when Ryu wasn't there? Um, Ryu was there, yeah. Oh, okay. They changed it? Oh, was that Third Strike or Second Impact? Actually, there's one Street Fighter 3 installment that's very unheard of. Oh. Um, Street Fighter 3 New Generation. Ah, I've seen that in the arcades. Yeah, that's, right. that's where the party was introduced. Hey, Ronan. Hi, Ronan. Shout <laughs> out to the Discord, bo Discord boys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> indeed. Of course, you, you represent the Discord boys. Um, people have been hearing about that. You know, you're one of the Discord boys. You watch the stream a lot. Uh, can you tell us about the Discord boys and how it all started? Yes, it all started um, as a mini group uh, apart from the Street Fighter V Philippines. Um, it was established just as uh, a normal group so that we can chat while we play and try to um, um, help the other each other. Yeah, help each other. Yeah. Oh wow! And hey, we got Julio. That's Julio Prime, by yeah. the way. Okay. You've watched the show. You know Julio Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, compared to Street Fighter 3, 4, and 5, which would you say, uh, what would you say is the difference with Ibuki throughout those generations? Street Fighter 3, um, <coughs> I wasn't really paying much attention um, with Ibuki because I was using Shoto characters back then. Or and, you um, can shifted to Yurian and why what what because of the cheapness yeah partly because of the cheapness <laughs> and um, I wanted to learn the charge partition back then oh so all those um, Aegis reflector combos mm -mm. and um, yeah um, in Street Fighter 4 I think it that's where I started playing Ibuki seriously mm. I made her Mm. Uh, when she first came uh, in Street Fighter 4 okay. and um, for me I think aside from being a vortex character I can say that Ibuki is a very uh, putsy heavy character because of the mm. Chumuji loop right right so in 5 do you like her here in 5 well, we didn't switch to Yurian because you played him right uh, yeah, uh, when Ibuki first came in Street Fighter V, I was a bit, I shouldn't say disappointed. I what? think I'd say uh, frustrated because the, the gameplay is really different. Mm. And um, 
I missed uh, some of the setup from Street Fighter 4 mm -hmm. But uh, right now, I'm starting to like her in this installment Okay, so uh, show me something here with the Buki So what are the things that you like about her? The one thing I like about Ibuki in Street Fighter V is the bomb setup. Okay. It's really something of, I should say, a game changer or a comeback mm -hmm. factor because of the mix-ups and uh, the tricks or how should I call it, the shenanigans. Okay, yeah. okay. Could you show us one bomb setup? Yeah, something to that effect ah. and uh, you can do some follow-ups after that okay uh -oh. that's okay, that's okay. forgive the Ding. jitters <laughs> <laughs> this is just this is your first time this on is my stream. first time on stream and uh if I'm messing up a lot, um, I'm giving you guys a heads up. Hopefully, um, it gets cured as we go along. Oh, it, it, it will, it will. Do your thing, Happy Julio. Woo! 30! Okay, okay. So aside from the bomb setups, uh, what other ways does she have to mix you up? She has this kunai. The EX Kunai, uh, which you can okay. introduce some mix-ups with it. Okay. Um, after you juggle it. Uh-uh. Behind? Ooh, from the front. Uh, Dirty. That's already stunned. Wow, interesting. So, you feel... You, you played the bookie in Street Fighter 4? Yep. Which do you like more, that or this? Um, I would say I like Street Fighter 4 a lot because of the vortex and uh, the super jump cancels. Uh -huh, and the one frame right. Jumuji loop. Right, right. I remember those. I was a victim of that a lot. Uh, shout outs to take the match. It's okay. Uh, shout outs to my good friend from Davao, Chami. Mm -hmm. uh, he was actually the best Ibuki player uh, in Davao, Street oh. Fighter 4. I definitely understand what you mean with the super jump cancel <laughs> into super. Yeah. Like, that, that, that's, that's execution wise, that's so hard to do. Right? So, here in Street Fighter 5, what are the challenges that you have playing Ibuki? Um, the challenge. Oh. Oh, speaking of Ibuki. Um, one of the challenges that I face is Hey Maverick Hunter X Ibuki has very low health and um, just a couple of combos will mm. net you the game most of the time Okay, so right now we are on a 3 game win streak It's an Ibuki mirror match What is up to Gerard and Maverick Hunter X3 in chat Ronan and Julio Prime also joining us Okay, there is, you see the V skill that is uh, very crucial in Ibuki's neutral game. Use that to build your V meter. Ooh, wakes up chat. Oh, this guy is very button Z. Uh oh. Okay, here we go, beginning with the mix ups. No follow up after that. Yes, Kunai, that's the advantage that you have. Team T bagged represents. And the bombs. Ooh, that was a great beer versus gets hit by the bomb. And one more thing is that Ibuki has limited Kunai. Ah, oh, right, that's true. You have to refill. So there is that Kunai bar right down below. You have six. Uh oh. Great tech there. Well, of course, don't forget later on after 7 p.m., everyone can join us for the Battle Lounge Challenge. Join us and win a
free pass to FGC Fridays tomorrow. Oh. I just thought of a great pickup line. Is your mother a bookie? Because you're the bomb. <laughs> Hi, in your opinion, which version of these characters is better? Street Fighter 4 or 5? I mean like Ibuki in Street Fighter 4 more OP than SF5? Uh, we talked about that earlier, Akizakoto. Um, we feel that Ibuki in Street Fighter 4 right there, you ended with a perfect, very impressive we, we, do you feel like Street Fighter 4 Ibuki is way scarier? I think so, yes. Because of the setups and the, the vortex. Even if they changed um, a lot during the last uh, patch, mm. people still find ways to get her kunai mm. to do some setups. Ooh, I hope we get to see that right here. But yeah, the kunai setups uh, in Street Fighter 4 were so deadly. Way scary. I think this is a more toned down Ibuki, but she is still just as dangerous, especially with the introduction of the bomb. Yeah. And that EX Kunai, she has an instant. There you go. Good punish. Nice. She has an instant uh, mix up in the middle of the screen and even at the corner. First, that overhead is minus one, two. Hey! <laughs> Please don't use the bookie. <laughs> Ooh, standoff right now between these two Ibuki players. There's the bomb. Ooh. Whoa. I'm not sure what he tried to do there. I think it was a panic situation. I think so too. <laughs> I also panicked there, <laughs> anticipating the setup. But still came away out on top of that round. One more round and we take the match. Okay, nice. He gets his V skill to work. Happy is the red one, Happy Julio in red. Of course, they, they say that red is the more aggressive color and it gives you a psychological advantage when you come into the game. Makes you way scarier. So OP characters in Street Fighter 4 are way more deadly than SF5 versions. So Elena in USF4 is way more deadly than Balrog. I think it, it, it's hard to compare both both games and both characters. Wow! Nice mix up right there. Excellent. Very impressive. It's hard to. You win! It's hard to say because mm -hmm. in Street Fighter 4. Someone's calling. Is that my phone? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, you can just cancel it. How, yeah, that's someone how else. do you not answer? Uh, just hit on the power button or. Power button. Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay, so the question is. Elena in SF4 is way more than. No, I think Elena in SF4 was cheap. Yeah, because of the uh, healing. Healing! Super art. <laughs> that was so annoying. Uh, right. <laughs> Mods get on that. So, uh, yeah, I think that Elena, she was just super cheap in SF4. And I think it's hard to compare both games because both have different mechanics, both have different uh, pacing, would you say? Yeah. How about you? What do you think about it? I'd say, yeah, those two different installments have two different pacing. I think uh, Street Fighter V is... Um, a toned down version of Street Fighter 4 in the sense that um, there are less things to play with unlike Street Fighter 4 where you have this focus 
hope they bring back Abel. Yeah, that is true. That's true. Uh, I agree with you right there. Uh, though SF5, I think damage is way, way higher. Yeah. So just be not. Uh, despite being a toned down version, as you mentioned, compared to four, it makes up for it with the damage. <laughs> yes, you, you can. We got Manza in chat. Booy Buki low tier. Still can't beat Ace. <laughs> hey Manza. We got uh, Jobet R. That is uh, uh, that is the one man wolf pack. And all is on. Okay, so um, you mentioned earlier uh, when we were talking, you wanted to. Uh, learn how to counter bison like you uh, you have hard time fighting bison yeah so what is it that makes it difficult this one right yeah when he starts to do his um, block strings mm. um, it's like I'm left with almost don't no press option. you don't press because yeah up once he ends there once he ends like here oh my god eh, can't get it yeah, well, that is the end of his block string, mm -hmm. right? So you try to create some space. So let's go here in the middle of the screen. So Balrog and SF5 is mid-tier. I'd say Balrog here is top-tier. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a common bison string. Okay. Right, so you block. And then there, you just you position yourself out of his range, right? Position out of his range. Position farther. Wow, that really reaches. And then you work you work from there, right? You want to back up, but of course when you back up, watch out for the slide. If the bison can see you start to back up. And also, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Also, um, do you find problems fighting against his head stomps? Yes, uh, especially the EX. Um, you dash forward. Okay. Just dash forward. And that will mess up the homing of his stomp. And he'll end up just landing and you can punish him. So, when I see him airborne, I just dash forward. Yeah, dash forward. Okay. Whoa, you're again. And this is a uh, near near diamond player. Like when when you're at thirteen thousand eight hundred, I already consider that player diamond. diamond. Okay. Hey Gab, what is up? That's plus. Oh, that's why that's minus because it hit high. Okay. At the airs, no. That's just such a cheap move, standing fierce from far. Good luck. Oh, that's punishable actually. Great confirm. Okay, backs off. I like it. What? Seriously? He was prepared. <laughs> Instant activation. Uh oh. That's fine. That's fine. You're you're good. You're good. Just need one hit. That's plus. Okay. So I don't have to press anything after that. A foolish insect that did. Round two. Fight. Crouching mid. Oh, definitely uh, Street Fighter V stepped up their online game. Take grab. Take 
get that v, v meter back. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't refill your kunai in neutral, sir. Oh no, that's punishable. Don't do that. Good luck. Ooh, ready. That's fine, you can do this. That's fine, that's fine. Just find your hit. Find your space. Wow. wow. The range. That's fine, that's fine. So, um, you need to figure out what range you can play against Yurian. Uh, take into consideration the range of his mid kick. Mm -hmm. right. Don't be afraid to jump in once in a while to test him out, especially if you think that he's going to do a fireball or a normal. Okay. And watch his jump ins. He's really getting a lot of jump ins. Oh wow! He does not want to fight you again. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that's one of the challenges Ibuki has in this game. It's the neutral game, mm -hmm. right? But once you get in. Um, you're pretty much good. But what what is your thought process against that Urian? I just wanted to get a hit and um, start my pressure once I get near him. Mm. <clears throat> Do some block strings and test uh, how he reacts. Okay, okay. So what happens there? Actually, let's let's just let's rewatch that match. Let's go out to the main menu. And let's watch that. And see how you can approach the match better. This is the first time we're gonna watch a replay, by the way, here on Helping Julio. So let's go to CFN. I don't know, we go here. Ramp match. There you go. I think that guy was an Ibuki hater. <laughs> Favorite replay. Hey, let's watch this together. Can't Ibuki with with punish better than active poking in five? I'm not sure. Okay, let's watch. Round one. Fight. I need to. Where is the? Okay, there you go. Do you have a meaty after the grab? Yes. What's the meaty? If he quick rises, that should be um, medium kick, standing medium kick. Okay. I mean, okay, that's right. Go, go, go. We're gonna watch that later. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, looks like there's some discussion going on in the chat. We got. Hold Brilliance, uh, that is actually Kim. Okay. Uh, he comes here every Friday for FGC Fridays. He's from Norway. Oh, wow. And he told me that uh, Norway kind of hates SFI. Wuhang! <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> it ends up with some bad clickbait site. <laughs> And it's a diamond. So how, how how's your fan match? I'd say this is my third match with the Fang player. <laughs> okay, let's see how you do. I have no idea how to coach Fang because Fang is personally one of my hardest matchups. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. For Roundhouse is actually a great neutral neutral game tool. Punish. Ah. Oh. Minus. Ah, oh, that's plus actually. Block. I didn't know what to press. <laughs> so when he does that little slide, okay, you can actually grab him out of it. I think. Don't worry about the poison. So first thing when you fight Fang, do not fear the poison. Plus, crouching mid kick is plus. Don't press after that. Okay. He went behind. So his crouching mid kick is plus. It's the kick where he okay. does that. So you just block. Don't press after it. After his crouching mid punch, I think he is plus, but he's too far away. I think that's when you can press. When he throws the balls out, right, and he slides under, he's gonna go behind you. So you change your blocking. You can't press a button because if you hit him, you're gonna get hit by the balls. Wow, these Japanese players not <laughs> giving us a run back. But anyway, let, let's continue to look at the Urian match. And we have another match to watch out for. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a lot of them. <laughs> we replay. Yeah, let, let, let's focus on the matches that we play today. Mm hmm. So right now for Yurian, let's see where you could do better. I wonder why no one's giving us a run back. I think it's because you're platted that they're dying when they don't want to lose the points. They're point hoggers. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say another so. H word. <laughs> a W word. Don't worry. Round one. So actually you're right with your game plan of trying to get in because Yurian only has one reversal attack and that is his EX headbutt mm -hmm. right and if you can bait that out that's a huge crush counter combo for you so his knee dive his regular knees if it hits above your head okay. it's minus so you can press jab you can do your jab uh, target combo but you have to confirm if it hits mm -hmm. or not right there, that's actually quite punishable. Is there a better ender to that combo? Uh, which combo? To that. I don't have EX, so, and then I'm very far, so I won't be able to do a ride. Okay. I think I could have done DP, DP and set up something yeah, out yeah. of it. Okay. Uh, I think that's where things uh, turned around for him. Yeah. No anti air right there. Yeah, I see you're you're getting very anxious to get your hit. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is actually good for you because he was on the attack. When you have low life and your opponent is almost dead and they keep attacking you, let them attack you. Slowly back off, you block everything and find an opening. Yep. And when you get that opening, you finish him off. Because attacking when you have the life lead is big no-no. Mm -hmm. It's a big no-no. No anti-air again.
Whoops. Okay, we're back, we're back. I think that's where I lost it when when I got hit on the first round. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was... I started to crack. <laughs> Desperate to get my hit. Okay, so uh, when that happens, right? Um, it's very important for you as a player, except replay, to reset your mindset. Mm -hmm. To reset everything. Like, okay, you lost that round, you had the lead, but he made the comeback, right? You need to just forget about that round mm -hmm. and then continue on what with, you, with what you have to do to win. Because playing playing Street Fighter or any fighting game, you need to be mentally, mentally strong. Right? And if you don't have that mental toughness, you're just going to break down. So you need to tell yourself, uh, pick Fong. Uh, Bibuki first, then Fong. You just need to tell yourself, just let go of that and continue to focus on your game plan. Do you have a game plan against Fong? No, to be honest. Okay, so I think that is where, because we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. you said that you feel you've hit a plateau, mm -hmm. right? In order to get beyond that plateau, you need to learn to have a game plan against all the characters. Yeah. Okay. So Fong, uh, the only thing that I know about Fong is he he can't do anything. Okay, just take the match. He can't do anything once he's pressured, right? Okay. So, as an Ibuki with great pressure, um, you should have... This match should be in your favor, right? It's just a matter of learning how to get around Fang's tools, which I'll show you later. Okay. Okay, but right now, we have a match. You are currently ranked. Wow. Balrog. What is your game plan against Balrog? Um neutral jump all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> it's it's something. <laughs> Let's go. You know that his dash punch if you block is punishable? Yeah. How much? I just Round one. four. Oh yeah? Yeah. If he's Fight. uh oh. Ooh, you can replenish. Okay, uh, where's your neutral jump? There it is. SF4 Balrog was also quite scary. He had an amazing comeback factor uh, with his overheads. And his uh, EX headbutt into, into Ultra. Mm -hmm. yeah, Balrog was scary in SF4, but I think he's way scarier now in 5. He has crazy damage output. That's minus 4. Nice, jump back on the air. Air to air. Show me what you got. Ooh, the jab beating the overhead. That's actually plus for him. Oh, okay. The EX dash punch is plus. Oh my god. Stay calm. Stay calm. Punish! That's fine, that's fine. You're good. Block, get your hit. Nice! <laughs> there you go, there you go. You win. Hey, you got Gab. It's more fun to play than to watch. 
Okay, let's try. We it might now. not see eye to eye there, Gab. <laughs> Okay, will he give you the run back? Wow, even the windscreen is loading. Please? Okay, finally a run back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get two wins. Let's get two wins. I like what he did against his Balrog. One thing you should know is he likes his dash punch happy. Nice. There is he. Punish. Fine. Good. Ooh, missed the confirm. That's fine. Gets the grab. More dominating round. You implemented your neutral jump, which was your game plan, mm -hmm. which is good. To make you more dominant in the match, punish every single block target combo. With your one, two, three. That's plus, don't press. There you go, that's minus four. Oh, uh, that's too far. Never mind. That's fine. Oh, the plus, he pressed in plus. Okay, he's minimizing the Ooh. dash punches. He's making an adjustment. <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> My God, showing these dirty Ibuki setups. That deserves a high five. That was awesome. That was awesome. Wow, impressive, impressive. So he made the adjustment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Of not doing his dash punch so much, but you're just able to get a hit. So usually when Balrogs see that you neutral jump, mm -hmm. you're starting to neutral jump, they're going to time their dash punch. They'll they'll wait for you to neutral jump and then they'll dash punch mm -hmm. and hit you out of the air. So that's something, neutral jumping is probably an option you don't go to all the time. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to Fang. Um, so he has three niche cues, right? This is his light, this is his medium, and this is his heavy. So if you, if you, what a lot of Fangs do is they do this right up front. Mm -hmm. You need to dash up and do something like, like a grab. Okay. Right. You don't sweep. Try sweeping. Sorry. Try sweeping. Oh, sorry. Uh, don't sweep right away. Like, do it like when you react. Yeah, see. You get hit, and then if I if I quick rise, I can wake up into pressure. Okay. Right. So you need to. I guess you you dash up command grab. Okay. Or, yeah, you try it. Yeah, if you sweep, see, you get hit. Mm, see, you, okay. don't, you don't sweep. Dash up and grab. Oh, just regular grab. Okay. Ah, my god, my... Don't go near, don't go near ahead. Okay. You don't know it's gonna happen. Right? That's how you react. But Fangs, of course, will not do that, like, blatantly. Yeah. So here are... Oh my gosh. Okay, go ahead. Fangs <laughs> <laughs> okay. don't throw that out blatantly all the time, right? But if you see it, you need to be able to react. Okay. Because that is the first shenanigan Fangs will do mm -hmm. against people who are inexperienced against it. Okay. So if you can show that you can, you, you can beat that shenanigan, they'll stop doing it and then they'll play properly. Because if they do that to you neutral game, they disrespect you. you. Okay. <laughs> Aha! Speaking of Bison. Game plan. Space him out. Okay, don't 
press when he is plus. Never press when they're plus. Let them okay. do their block string. Let them push you away. And then you move. If he does the head stomp, wait for him to land. Dash forward. Round one. Fight. EX Rider. Rider's a command grab, right? Yeah. EX Rider moves him forward. Moves her forward, so you can definitely do EX Rider. Oh god. There you go. See, now you're free. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Block. Punish that. Nice! Good punish. It's your turn. Oh! <laughs> you see the purpose of blocking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't always have to find your hit right away. Wait for your wait for your opportunity. Dash forward. Before the head stomp, that's when you dash. That's fine. Block. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ooh, wake up three frames? Seriously. Okay, just need one hit. Summon forth all the animals! He's alive! He's gonna he's going to slide. What is you, you you dash before the head stop. Okay. Before he hits you on the head, you dash forward. Don't dash forward after he after blocking. Do it before you block. There you go. Okay, he's gonna dash right behind you. Okay, you do the dash, so he jumps. Okay. Before he hits you, you dash you under, win. and then he lands. Mm, don't okay. don't if he devils reverses. Don't dash forward. Just block. Okay. Oh, Niners, baby! I am a 2012er. <laughs> I actually started Street Fighter V in 20... No, 2014! I'm a 2014er. Wow, no run back. Someone salty. Or was that already two games? Um, that's only one game. Wow, salty people. A lot of salty people out tonight, but great, great job. That was very impressive, very impressive. So, do you feel like you did something better than before? Yeah, I think so. Uh, because of the training that we did earlier and uh, patience in just blocking, yeah, it paid right. off. Okay, uh. um, can you try pressing jab after blocking? Okay. Sorry. Ah, that's plus. This one is, I think. Yeah. Oh, stand jump. There you go. Okay, go for it. Playbook. Can we play Street Fighter Four tomorrow, Kim? For you? Let's do it. <laughs> I'll play Street Fighter 4 with you. <laughs> hey, what is up, Brandon? All the way from Pampanga. Of course, they're Pampanga boys, right? Sorry? Do you know any of the Pampanga boys? Um, no. With the same, oh, that's same, the same guy. Okay, so let's see. 
what he does differently. Okay, so remember we were talking about training them to do something, right? Mm -hmm. Try try it out. Try something. But what can Ibuki do to train people? I'm not sure. Minus four. Oh wow, too far. How many frames is your standing light kick? Standing light, I believe four frames. Try that instead of the jab. To punish the dash punch. Punish. Wow, he pressed. Show me something. You have one more bomb. Oh my oh god, my you're god. dead, sir. So that's part of the game plan if you're fighting Rob. Mm -hmm. As soon as you see them have V trigger, be wary. <laughs> Be very careful of that crouching me medium. Nice. Good confirms. Punish. Light kick. There's that neutral. Oh no. Block, just block down. It's your turn to get the hit. Relax, block, find your opening. Fine, that's fine. Great deck. He spent it just to make sure. Yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> what a combat right there, but next time you hit that, you're in that situation, do something optimal. Okay. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> That's plus, don't press. Oh, where's the anti air? My god. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay, someone got let, me make, <laughs> let me make sure. <laughs> so, uh, Jared says, was that worth the CA? It's. Nah. <laughs> Totally depends, because honestly, I think if you can kill them without spending bar or spending CA, totally go for it and save the bar. But like, if doing CA was your only opportunity and it would guarantee the kill and the round, mm -hmm. I'd say it's okay. Yeah. But right now, it didn't pay off for us. <laughs> yeah. That's that rider punch. That's the one punch! <laughs> <laughs> So I missed my anti-airs. Uh, you missed that. a lot of your anti-airs. Yeah. He got free jump hits on you all day. No, it's too far. If, if he's if if you block and he's really far from you, don't press. Yeah, see. Nice anti-air. Let's go. Wow, really? Ooh, that was so dangerous. You press medium kick after your overhead, that's... Yeah. Sometimes I... Don't. Bet don't. <laughs> don't. Please. No, don't press. He's too far. If he's really near, then that's when you can punish.
don't press. Very good. Just stay calm. Well, let him kill himself. You don't need to find your attack, but you got the attack anyway. Safe pressure. Safe pressure. Safe pressure. Don't back off all the way. Nice. Good blocks. Good. Uh oh. Oh, watch your legs. Oh my god. I cracked there. <laughs> so what I mean what I mean about safe pressure, you have the life lead. Mm -hmm. But you do you do pokes that are safe. Okay. And acts that are safe. That makes him afraid. You don't totally just defend. No, don't press, he's too far. Watch your legs. Punish. Wake up super. Ooh, that was very punishable. Can't afford to get hit. Don't get hit! Oh my god, he got hit! Ah! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 I lost it. Oh my god, that was okay. Um, you missed your hit confirm. Yeah, right? I did. Um. What else? What were the moments right there? You missed the punish multiple times because the crouching mid mid. Mm -hmm. It's actually minus seven or something. Okay. So even like if you just did your one two three combo, you would you could have killed him, mm -hmm. right? Um, and after that, like. Most of the match, you weren't. You just weren't blocking low. You weren't blocking low. He got his comeback because of the. He got his comeback because you'd never block low. Yeah. The whole time. Okay. Um. Pump. Okay. Uh. Before we get to that, we're gonna go on a quick little break. Okay. Like five minute break. And when we come back, it's going to be the viewer challenge. This is your opportunity. If you are a resident. Here in Manila, Philippines, you can win a free pass to FGC Fridays for a day. That's tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, just invite Sinelas, T S I N E L A S, first to one. You have to beat Happy Julio and me. And if you do that, you win your free pass. So let's take a quick five minute break. Yep. And we'll sure. be back. Okay.
This is how we do it. Help me, help me. No, Julio. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. Let's do uh. this. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. But while we were on the break, this is, of course, PB Dr. Jimmy and Happy Julio. Hello. Hi. We're currently in a rank match. Uh, so let's play him again. So right now, this is your chance to join the player challenge, the battle launch challenge. Invite Cinellas, T S I N E L A S, in battle launch. Create the launch and invite us, and wait for your turn, and you'll have a chance to win a pass to FTC Fridays. Hey. Zangief, I think Geef actually struggles against the Buki. Oh my god. That's fine. Ah, he blocked and you didn't YOLO. Perfect. Oh my, what? Now you YOLO. Oh, get him! Get him! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I bet everything there. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you did YOLO. <laughs> well, if you yolo you would have actually gotten him. Ah, I have a little, uh, I have a, some advice for you. For geeks who are uh, V skill happy, empty jump throw. Try. Jump in. Jump in, empty jump. <laughs> well, he didn't. He didn't uh, be skilled there, but you know. Uh oh. Oh wow. Nice sweep. Nicely done, happy Julio. So do you feel like you're progressing beyond your plateau? Like, yeah, little feel like by little, yeah. You feel like you're now rising, <laughs> rising up? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So let's go to our first challenger. The first one who sent an invite was Maverick Hunter X. Okay. The regular Hunter X, sorry. And of course, there's a very healthy conversation and discussion going on in chat of course we promote uh, healthy discussions let's go to battle lounge and view invitations I beat that gift yesterday good for you Shin Rocken 85 easy lol <laughs> up yeah yeah that's it okay regular hunter X wow so many invites I think this is the first time I've been invited Let's go. A lot of time. First regular Hunter X, one of the, uh, our regular viewers. Thank you very much. He's Maverick Hunter X3. And his favorite X is 7 or 8? I forgot again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rashid. How's your Rashid experience? Zero. <laughs> okay. Got them black costumes, that black evening dress. Yeah. Party dress. Yeah, the party dress. EMVC matches at the highest level tend to go with the guess person who properly execute the incoming setup. Now you know how Daigo feels when he gets a lot of invites. <laughs> Ooh, and I like the stage. Fight! little laggy but we're gonna roll with it 
I hate Rashid. Why do you hate Rashid, Shinrakan85? Punish that. Very good. Your setups. Your confirms. Your mix ups are not on point, but they were. Punish. Nice. Good sweep. What? Wake up, Eagle Spike. Who does that? It's a bit lag. That's fine. That's fine. Punish. What? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Mashiolo. 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 It didn't pay off. Just block. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the rollback is crazy. Yeah, he is annoying to play. Uh, he doesn't do that much damage, but if you know how to deal with him, uh, I think you'll, you, you'll be just fine. Ooh, Eagle Spike. He's My god. Oh, he woke what? up. I don't know what happened. That's fine. That's, don't, don't break down. You were doing. You were doing fine. Uh oh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I, I lost her. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. There you go. Thanks for playing with me. The Actually, regular Hunter X. You oh, and we got the silent stick. You won't hear me. As I'm gonna. I'm gonna mash. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear anything? No. It's actually good for me because when my wife is sleeping, at least I can play. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Does that count? Yeah, yeah. I think it was quite playable. I think it's bearable as well. Rashid with wings. <laughs> I don't have a lot of characters. Uh, in I only need one. <laughs> yeah. I need that stick. Yeah, I think like the Simon stick is really good. Uh, but another stick that's really good is the <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> Mad Cat's T2 Plus available here at Playbook. <laughs> and it sells for how much? Uh, messages for inquiries. Okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Okay, chat, really quick. Vote. One for Laura, two for you. Quick, 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 quick. I need one answer. It is... Okay, never mind. Too late. <laughs> oh, one for Laura. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's too late. So if, you, if they beat... The both of us, they get a prize. Right? Yeah, yeah. I if uh, regular Hunter X beats me, then he wins a uh, day pass on 2FGC Fridays. This Friday, tomorrow. Mm. By the way, Rev Major is next week. Are you joining that? Yeah, I'll try to join and uh, do my registration. If not tonight, maybe over the weekend. Right, and don't forget, registration ends on uh, December. Uh, December. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what am I doing? You're all over the place. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> registration for Rev Major ends on July 5. Okay. So, uh, if you guys have not registered for Rev Major, better register before then or else forfeit yeah. forever. Hold your peace. What are you waiting for? Register and uh, improve your game. Of course, uh, it's not just Tekken that will be at Rev Major. There will be Street Fighter V, Guilty Gear, Marvel. My god! I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, 
he's gonna wake up super. I'm not sure what happened, but thank you very much, Irregular Hunter X, for joining us yeah. today. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, again, uh, if anyone wants to join us tonight, send an invite to Tsinelas, T S I N E L A S. Yep, that's Tsinelas. Why Tsinelas? I don't know. I just picked up a random Object. Tagalog word, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I have another account, though, okay. that I'm using. Um, that's Happy Call. Yes, that's you are Happy Julio. Yep. Up next, who do we have? GG's Maverick Hunter X3. We have Ronan. Ronan. A guy you play. A guy a I lot. play with every day, actually, <laughs> in our Discord session. Who wins that match? A character select is on, so go ahead. Who wins that match? Um, you and Ronan. Um, yeah, sometimes. There are days that I win and there are days that he wins more than I do. So <laughs> it's it's actually say fifty fifty. It's like tossing a coin mm. whichever. Okay, okay. I gotta go see you tomorrow, Jimmy. Bye Kim. Have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Wait, I'll turn my stream off. Ronan will lose <laughs> says Gerard. Oh. Oh, Super Saiyajin! Super Saiyan Ibuki looks more like Kami or. I don't Speaking know. of Super Saiyajin females, we finally have one in Dragon Ball Super if you guys aren't watching. I haven't been watching for the longest time. I think I left at episode 30 or 40. I recommend you pick up at episode uh, 50 or 43. This is Ronan Reigns. A tough match. So it's a Dal Sim. How do you so I think I think if you're familiar with the Dal Sim match. Because of Ronan. For those of you who are new to the stream, Ronan is actually the winningest. Uh, viewer, I think he's won five times. Wow, five or four? Uh, five times. Yeah, he's a five time, five time, five time helping Julio winner. Can you dig that? Yeah, from what I've been hearing, he's been winning a lot of free stuff. Yeah. Just need one hit and Dalsim is dead. Ronan! <laughs> a little panic there for your attack. Yeah. For your hit. That's fine, that's fine. It is laggy. Okay. I like the response. Zoning here from Ronan. Trying to get in with the rollback. Back medium punch was in order. Uh oh. Oh my god. I can't see anything. Oh. I can't see anything either. Just walk forward. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Lag gaming. Ronan, At please. Its finest. Ronan, please. Uh 
Oh. Good luck. You're fine, you're fine. Dalsim, there, in the world of Dalsim, there's no such thing as a life lead. Oh, there it is. There's the hit. Can you build V, V, V? Yes! Perfect. Aronan! Relax, relax. Ooh, that was actually the right move. I can see it because of the lag. Just back off that, that's right. <laughs> that was good. Nicely done, Ronan. You were not prepared for the teleport out of nowhere. Yeah. Ah, Ronan. You know, every time I fight him, I'm like, is he gonna win again? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. Ronan one game away to winning from another, another free pass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, what has he won? He's won the sling. The Evo mm -hmm. Sling, he's won the Evo Badge. He's won a free pass to FGC Fridays. What else did you win, Ronan? I think he won the King of Fighters postcard. Yeah, he did. He showed it to me when he claimed it last time he won. I'll try and make Mika. this look cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a request here from Jared. No Laura. Okay. I'm at the mercy of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after this, I heard that there's a place that you want to visit. Yeah. What's that place? It's called Gotham Monster. I've been hearing good things about the place, and I haven't been there, despite me having been here to play book for a couple of times now. Are you going? Sir? Yeah, I have no choice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't see the, the, the feedback. You couldn't see the tea bag. Yeah, I couldn't see the tea bag. <laughs> of course, there's another name for the Discord boys. Yes, it's called Team Tea Bag with an ED. We are the guys who get tea bag a lot, so we decided to call ourselves that. Oh my God! Oh, I went right under. He pressed something. Oh my god. Yeah. GG's Ronan. It was GG. a struggle all throughout. But uh, you're still the five time. Five time. Do you yeah. get that reference? Yes. Five time. <laughs> WCW, WCW World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultra Sling. Before I Before, used to, okay. but uh, I'm not really a fan of wrestling. Ah, okay. Anyway, GG's Ronan. GG's. Uh, thank you for your support every single week. What's happening? Okay, I think it's still loading. Uh. Okay. Circle. I think there's some delay. Somewhere. Something wrong with the circle.
Wow, I can't press a thing. It happened to me earlier as well. Really? Uh, even using a different uh, stick that time. Oh, there you go. Okay. GG's, Ronan. GG's. GG's. Who do we have up next? It is the one man wolf pack. Oh. Can't remember the last time I played this guy. It's go time. You know who he plays, right? Yeah. He uses the same main as you. Deuce. Unfortunately. <laughs> so this is my it's my turn now to teach you how to beat Laura. Okay. It's important to see all the dash ups. Mm -hmm. The command dash that okay. is minus seven. As soon as you see it, just spam light punch and your target combo. Okay, I'll remember that. And then hopefully uh, I can integrate it into my yeah, game. E equip that. Mm -hmm. Right. And then as soon as you get knocked down, like she does a command grab, mm -hmm. see if she dashes forward or not. If okay. she dashes da da dashes forward, ma wake up light punch. Okay. If she doesn't dash forward, just block. Okay. That's it. That's if I get knocked down. Round one. Okay. Fight. Command grab knockdown, yeah. And there's the dash. Okay, what does she do? Dash up? Jump. Great whiff punish. In the corner you go. Minus two. Good deck. That's fine. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spends the bar. <laughs> oh my god! Nicely done! Nicely done! That was so tense! That was so tense! Anti air. That's plus. Don't press. Jump! Okay. Ooh, you didn't get your meaty. There, see? You interrupt with the jab. So right now he's looking for the forward fierce into V trigger activation. Uh oh. Space out the forward fierce and with punish. What? Wow, nice. That's fine. See, if he dashes up, you command grab, you wake up. Okay. Because if he dashes up, that's minus three. Mm -hmm. So, quick, quick rise, and then wake up jab. Nice anti air. Good throw. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god. That's fine. Nice. He was trying to improvise some meaty. That was a great whip punish, but nothing after. Don't get hit, whatever you do. But pre pressure him safely. He got hit. Nice interruption! Good nice games. Up, <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you have to challenge Laura. Okay. You have to challenge Laura. You have to challenge anyone. Mm -hmm. Dash up. That's the number one game plan against Laura. Interrupt her dash ups. Okay. Good games, Jobet. Good games. And yeah. Um. Wow. If anyone else wants to invite Tinellas, yeah. 
Yeah, send us the invite. But right now, while waiting for new challengers, let's uh, let's go ahead and play some rank matches because we still have time. Okay. We want the gold buttons. The gold buttons have already been won. Who won the gold buttons? Uh, his name was Steven Lopez, uh, one of the Tekken community members. We gave away eight golden Sanwa buttons not too long ago. Ah, wait, who do you want to learn? Um, Nika? Alright, go ahead. So the prize uh, to whoever beats us is a free pass to FGC Fridays here in the Philippines. Hey, Kazakotl, where are you from, bro? I'm curious. First, welcome. Welcome to Helping Julio. I'm glad to see you're very active in the chat. Okay, uh, Armika. The, the number one game plan you need to have is an answer to that. Because right, okay. this is plus. Uh, no matter what you do, if you block that, it's a free mix-up for her. And you have to guess what she'll do. Right. Okay. So you interrupt that by pressing medium kick or medium punch, but okay. you have to time it. Oh, okay, nice, nice. You're from Makati. So uh, if you join and you beat us, you get a free pass to uh, Playbooks FGC Fridays. FGC Fridays is a weekly uh, fighting game gathering for casuals. We have exhibition matches. We have first to fives, mm -hmm. mini tournaments for different games. We live stream. And we have commentary, so all the matches get recorded and get sent, uh, get uploaded to Playbox Facebook. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's that's one thing. You stop. You have to time it. Okay. See. You have to watch until she crouches. Okay. That's when you interrupt. Right. So if you can stop her from doing that, it makes her think twice. Okay, I have to find another way to get in. The next option Mika's have is crouching fierce punch. Right? So they would space it. Yeah, like that. Okay. That's one of the ways they get in. So space it out and then with punish. Right. Uh, and then they have this. That's punishable. So they sometimes try to bait out an anti-air with using that, or they sometimes can try to cross you up. Then when you block that, it's very punishable. Okay. And then usually, let's say you don't get, you, you don't block this. Just blo uh, you don't interrupt that. Just block. Okay. If you block this, that's minus five. Which one? The medium. That oh. one. That's this is a target combo. It's minus okay. five. Okay. What's uh what's your five frame? Um, uh, medium punch. Okay. Again. Okay. So let's try. Not too far. Okay. Ooh, how about your medium kick? That's six frames. No, you block the target combo first. Ooh, Chinoy boy next door. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That is Manza. Manza. Let's go, Also Manza. using Ibuki, I believe. He yeah. uses Ibuki and he always has his Laura. Mm -hmm. Which is really scary. I don't want to play Manza, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play. <laughs> please beat him. <laughs> I'll, I you, can try. <laughs> you, can, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> you are breaking through your plateau. You're mm -hmm. making progress. You're making strides. You're moving forward. Yep. Go. Let's do this. Didn't know that was minus. It is Ronan. It is. But I think they made the pushback a little better for Mika. Yeah, it looks like it's very like. hard to punish it. Mm. But if they do that like up close, mm -hmm. and you can you judge the distance, and you know that your medium punch will hit. Medium punch confirmed. 
Now you tell me. <laughs> this is why we have helping Julio. Yeah. <laughs> it's for everyone to improve and up their Round game. One. That is right. Hashtag rise up. Um, not necessarily like NLBC, uh, mini tournaments, it depends on the number of people who are here, but right now, everyone is hyped and crazy for Rev Major, so we're doing a lot of Tekken, uh, first to five. So of course, it, it's not just Street Fighter that we have here. Nicely done. Uh, we got people who play Tekken, Guilty Gear, uh, Blaze Blue, what other games, Street Fighter V. Sometimes you get Injustice players. Yeah, you should definitely drop on by. We are located here in Circuit Makati. Uh, just take any jeep that goes to PRC and you should be in the circuit area. And you can walk into the mall. And the uh, playbook is on the third floor. What happened there? Ooh, was that an option select block? <laughs> I won. Nicely done. You win. Quite impressive, though there was lag. Yeah, there, there, there was, there was a little lag. bit of lag, but nonetheless a victory. Online victory is an online victory, so nicely done. Great thank job, you. great job. Thank, thank you. Thank, uh, thank you very much, Manza, for joining us tonight. Have you registered for Rev already, Manza? I think you have. Have you? It's go time. Um. So to come to come inside playbook mm -hmm. is free. Um, our regular rates for using PS4 is like a hundred per hour per person. Okay. But if you are coming in to play fighting game casuals, it's only 150 pesos, and you can play from opening to closing. We open at 11 o'clock and we close at 12 mid, uh, midnight on Friday. So if you come in, you want to play unlimited fighting games, that's just 150 from opening to closing, you get a free a free drink, a free Mountain Dew. Uh, but if you come in at like 7 p.m., that's just 100 and you can play until closing, that's unlimited play. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. Guys, what are you waiting for? Head, come down over. Come on over. Punish. Uh, that wasn't the, that wasn't it. There it is. Again, again, again. Too far. There you go. Nice. Um, so those are her punishables. Are you the one with Team Spooky JDCR? Yes, this is the very playbook that JDCR won, and that was streamed on Team Spooky. So come down over, say hi, look for me, look for Doctor Jimmy. Uh, you can play some games. I could probably teach you, or you could be in you could be here on Helping Julio. Yeah, just <laughs> like me. <laughs> Once again, thank you for having me here in Helping Julio. Of course, of course. We like to show love to the community and it is my personal mission to prepare everyone what? for what? the world. Oh, wow, Ed. Think about Ed. When he came out, I wasn't interested in him. Okay. So I kind of, I'm in the dark. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's Laura. <laughs> we did not change yeah. character. I think you should play this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> this Sorry is guys. A, this is a chance for me to learn the matchup. So if this guy is any good, uh, he might body me. What are, what are his ranges? Oh, that was a sweep. I didn't know. 
since you're part of the FGC, are there other majors besides Manila Cup? Yes, we have one coming. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. We have one coming uh, next month. That is the Rev Major. Yes. Oh my goodness, I got hit. That's Rev Major Philippines. That's happening on July 8 and 9. Uh, it's part of the Tekken World Tour, which is like the Capcom Pro Tour. Okay, but this time it's for, for uh, all about Tekken. That is right. And yes, JDCR, oh my god, is coming back. Oh my god, what's that? What happened? Whoa. Uh, something got pressed and... Oh my god. I'm getting beat up right now. Was there a controller attached to this? And oh, this guy know. has no honor. He saw I wasn't <laughs> moving and he still that's beat me up. That's a chance. I, I, I'm guilty doing that as well if ever I get a chance. Oh no, I'm like, you know, <laughs> like at the start, like at the start of the match, if like you're actually fighting each other. Oh, that's plus. Okay. And then like all of a sudden, like your opponent stops moving. I got hit by that every time. One more? Psycho Upper! If you're fighting and all of a sudden he stops moving for some yeah. reason, mm -hmm. you have to stop. But if he starts the round and he's not moving and he does that for like 10 seconds, then you kill him. <laughs> Team Spooky streaming? Um, Actually, Team Spooky... Uh, X Split will be streaming the secondary stream of Rev Major, which will have all the other games. Okay. And then um, the Tekken World Tour tournament, which is a master event, will be live streamed from the Tekken Twitch. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, or I'm not sure. Oh god. That's the come here move. Reminds me of Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay, that's a neat team. Nope. Who jumps up? Really like Capcom Fighters? Yes! Tekken World Tour! So we'll have Street Fighter... Well, of course Tekken will be the main game of the event. And then there'll be Street Fighter V, there's going to be Smash, there's going to be Guilty Gear, there's going to be Injusti uh, Injustice 2. There's going to be... what else? Um, oh god, I'm gonna get super. Oh, I did, it didn't come out. <laughs> uh, there's going to be Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and King of Fighters. So basically, so, most of the popular fighting games will be featured in this yes, event. Yes, that is right. Of course, uh, if you want more information, if you want to register, join, come out, or even just uh, get spectator passes and watch, uh, you can go to revmajor.playbookph.com. I'm actually trying to learn the match as it happens. This guy just psycho uppers every single time. Now whenever he gets a meter, he will do it. Yeah, he does it, he does it. Honest opinion, is the game dying or not? Why or why, or why not? I don't know. <laughs> I think the game is fine. I love the game. Yeah, I think the game is okay. There's a lot of people trying it out for the first time. The online is still alive with all the players. The only thing that I noticed is that um, there are times that it's very hard to find mm -hmm. rank matches. That's true, that's true. Fight. Okay, let's play the match. I'll try to play serious. Try to learn. Okay, stop with it. Oh 
Cycle upper. I think why he uses it is because it shifts his um, hurt box. Hurt box backwards. Yeah. Wow, and that is in minus, huh? See? Cycle up. <laughs> it's like you've been baiting his psycho up for all day. You win. So why the FGC think those guys? I think, I think that's just their own personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, for me, a game is alive if you play it. Funky psycho groove. Groove. Okay, I think that's yours. That's, okay. uh, that's for you and that might be the last game of the evening uh, this challenge right here yeah. so yeah I think again it's every that's personal opinion mm -hmm. and it's just that a lot of people have that opinion but if to you the game is good you're having fun with it you're learning keep playing the game yeah keep playing the game uh, keep the community alive um and support other games as well uh because we're just one unified fgc mm -hmm. right and we're trying to grow in the world of esports where it's dominated by mobas yeah. fps's and all the others but you know we're slowly making strides uh yeah yeah let's go there but wow. funky psycho groove It's go time. Let's go. Oh, it's another dancing player. Is this okay? Final game of the evening. Excuse me. Burp. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you to everyone for joining us right here on Helping Julio episode nineteen. I hope you had a happy time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a happy time. I had a blast actually. Awesome. I learned a lot and I, I feel like I've progressed. You've broken yeah. through like a chest burster from Alien. Yeah. <laughs> I planted the seed like a face hugger. <laughs> Minus the hugging. Yeah. Fighting games are the most difficult game. Yeah, um, I think a good... Round one article about this was actually written by Mineski.net uh, Gab Lazaro this be Gab who was in chat uh, he wrote a great article about getting into the fighting game community if you guys have not read it I recommend heading over to Mineski.net on Facebook and look for the article uh, getting into fighting game uh, he writes a really great piece on like what it how it how it feels for an outsider to try and get into fighting games like it's a great it's a great bible <laughs> Ooh, the kunai fake cross-ups wow yeah, whether you're a casual, you're a competitive player, um, you know, I totally dig that. I think, you know, the FGC consist, consists of uh, people from both sides. Uh, people who play competitively, people who are casual, or people who, wow, people who just do stuff behind the scenes and don't play the game. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is an integral part of the fighting game community. So, you know, Kesakotl, if you are... Within the vicinity, feel free to come down, uh, you know, chat with me, have a conversation with me here at Playbook, we play some games. Yeah, just have fun. Enjoy the game that we love and, you know, that's what it's all about, right? Enjoying the game. This time he blocks. Good games, funky, psycho, groove. Oh my god, you dirty boy. That's a dirty, you that's dirty, a dirty 
boy. <laughs> Good games, Fungi Psycho games. Group. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. Uh, everyone who was on the show tonight in chat, uh, shout outs to everyone. We got Jeffrey Mandap, Brian Andres, Maverick Hunter X, Ronan. Uh, Kezukoto, uh, Kim, who was here earlier, R H V M F H. Uh, who else is here? Hello, Dirty Ibuki. Yes, that's right, Dirty Ibuki indeed. We hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we hope Jeez. you learned. Yeah. And yeah, uh, any takeaways for you for tonight? Like any lesson that you'd like to share to our viewers? Uh, just be patient with the game, learn it, and most of all, enjoy. Because that's that's what we're here for. We're connected by this game we all love. That right? is true. That is true. It's all about having fun. Yep. Getting good is great. Winning games is awesome. Winning tournaments is amazing. But nothing can ever beat the importance of just having, having fun. fun. Yes. That's why we play video games. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Of course, I'd like to thank the sponsors here at Playbook. Uh, Circuit Makati, XSplit, Twitch, uh, 99.5, Play FM, uh, Globe at Home, and of course, who am I missing? Am I missing, am I missing someone? Uh, I'm trying to think right now off the top of my head. Of course, yeah, XSplit. <laughs> Uh, thank you for my favorite. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And we will see you probably the week after Rev. There will not be a helping Julio next week in preparation for Rev Major. But join Rev Major. It's happening July 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. Registration ends on July 5. So if you want to register and get all the information that you need about the event, go to revmajor.playbookph.com. That's revmajor, R E V M A J O R. Yeah. Dot dot playbook playbook ph. Ph. Dot com. And we will see you guys at Red Major. Bye bye. Okay. a lot of people don't know how big the fighting game community in the Philippines is. Since the Tekken 7 started, the Tekken community expanded even more. Uh, for Rev Major, uh, we're expecting a lot of new faces again. Oh! Rage drive, down forward two. Dude, the crowd's Whoa! going crazy. Oh! Down two! <laughs> down two! The crowd goes wild! <laughs> Yeah, Rev Major is not just about Tekken. We have uh, we have other tournaments such as Street Fighter, we have KOF, we have Injustice 2, uh, Guilty Gear, uh, Super Smash Brothers, and we have NBC 3. So. And that was a do. really bad. 27 hits! I never thought this would be possible. He tried to drill claw him all the way up <laughs> He tried to drill claw her all the way up there. Oh wow! Set. What's, the, what's the setup? The audacity by both players! <laughs> Bring it! Power, Power of, of the Yodo Force! Lunando Force, the game fight! Let's see! Man, oh, that's it, that's it! And that's that's it. Super forwarder. Nice! Red Major, I think, is gonna be big. It's gonna be one of the biggest uh, fighting game events in the country. It's gonna be an event of which the likes we have never seen before. Okay, this is gonna kill. This no, is no, gonna no. kill. It's not enough. You, it's you not think enough. so? It's not enough. It's gonna scale a lot. Oh, oh, told you so! I told you so! Again, the young players are going to be more competitive. Good! Oh! Oh! Dojin eliminates Saint! Wow! Sa tingin ko kung magpapapanalo sa akin is consistency po ng practice, iwala po sa sarili, tsaka pagbalansi po sa pag-aaral. Oh, okay, a lot. Still has a lot after that. Whoa! Rage drive! Siguro po swerte na lang. Hindi na lang po magpapanalo sa akin. <laughs>